Hi, uh, my name is Bora Chung, and I wrote that book in Korean. This is very scary. Um, it's a collection of 10 stories, so I'm uh, just, I'm only reading one of them. Um, I thought I sh chose a very short passage. It's three and a half pages. I don't know what happened. Um, I'll be very fast. Uh, <laughs> the, the title is The Roller of Wind and Sand. 공주는 울었다. 너무나 목이 말라서 목구멍이 쩍쩍 갈라질 것만 같고 몸에 물기라고는 한 방울도 남지 않은 느낌인데 어디서 눈물이 나오는지 알수 없었다. 공주는 모래 속에서 파내려던 단단한 것에 머리를 기대고 울었다. 무섭고 춥고 목이 말랐다. 이대로 모래 사막에서 죽게 될 것이라고 공주는 생각했다. 아침이 오는 것을 다시는 보지 못할 것이다. 해가 뜨는 광경을 다시는 보지 못할 것이다. 궁에서 자신을 하염없이 기다릴 눈마와 왕자도 다시는 보지 못할 것이다. 태어나 자란 초원도 부모님도 다시는 보지 못할 것이다. 이대로 죽어 모래 속에 파묻히면 아무도 자신의 시체조차 찾아내지 못할 것이다. 그렇게 생각하며 공주는 울었다. 흐느낌이 통곡으로 변하고 공주는 사막의 밤하늘 아래 모래 속에서 튀어나온 정체불명의 돌덩어리를 붙잡고 이 말을 기댄 채 마음껏 소리치며 비명을 지르며 울었다. 공주가 이 말을 기댄 뭉툭한 돌덩어리가 공주의 눈물에 흠뻑 젖었다. 공주는 계속 울었다. 공주가 이 말을 기대고 있던 돌덩어리가 움직였다. 공주는 소스라치게 놀랐다. 울음이 저절로 멈추었다. 모래 속에서 거대한 물고기가 몸부림쳤다. Okay. I'm going to read slower because <sighs> this is the opportunity of a lifetime, and let's face it, <laughs> when am I going to be up here again? <laughs> All right. Hello, YouTube. Okay. The princess wept. Her throat was so dry that it felt like it was splitting into pieces, and there was not a drop of liquid in her body. But amazingly, there were still tears coming out of her eyes. Leaning against the huge thing she had been digging out, the princess let her tears flow. She was scared, cold, and unbelievably thirsty. I am going to die in the desert, she thought. She would never see the morning again, or the sunrise. Never again would she behold the blind prince desperately waiting for her in the palace, the grassy plains she had been born and raised on, her parents. She would die, sink into the sand, and her body would never be found. The thought made her cry even harder. Her tears became wails, and the princess threw herself upon the mysterious object in the middle of the desert, screaming her grief out into the desert night underneath the stars. The bulky thing she had been leaning her forehead on was soon drenched in her tears. She continued to cry. The object her forehead was leaning on against moved. She threw herself back in surprise. Her tears stopped. A giant fish was flailing in the sands. The princess was so shocked she started stumbling backwards before falling on her behind. The thing protruding from the sand was the head of a fish. Even in the dim light of the moon, she could clearly make up the milky film clouding over a single eye. When the rains fall on the desert, release a blind fish into the sea. The princess came to her senses. She immediately began to dig out the flailing fish from the sands. Just a moment ago, she had been exhausted and crying, but a strength she had not known she possessed now flowed through her. She furiously attacked the sand, first exposing the gills, then the back fin, and soon the body. After she had excavated the tail, the princess cautiously touched the fish's eye. With the gentlest brush of her fingertips, the thin, hard film over the eye shattered into flakes. The fish swung its tail widely. It launched itself from the sands into the cold night sky, the moment it leaped for the sprinkling of stars against deep indigo, the princess heard a sound as if the night sky, clear as glass, was shattering. Rain began to fall. Water poured from the cracks in the sky. The princess got to her feet as cold, fresh water drenched her whole body. She opened her mouth to the rain and drank it all in. Even when her thirst was quenched many times over, she spread her arms to the sky and kept drinking in the rain, dancing with joy. The blind fish had returned to the vast sea, and rain fell from the desert sky. The princess was elated. Her fear of death, her homesickness, it was all forgotten. Who she was, why she was in the middle of the desert, she was so overjoyed that she forgot it all. And the princess woke from her sleep. Far away, she saw the gates of the palace. Thank you. <laughs> 